Hello everyone. Welcome to this live stream. Thank you so much for joining. Right now the police has already invaded several locations. We're seeing images from Mong Kok, from Kalum Bay, and uh, from maybe from other shopping malls we'll be seeing more images. Uh, but basically the same the police has been doing. This has become a police state. Even at Christmas, people just getting stopped and searched for no reason. This is these are illegal stop and searches that the police have been carrying for so long with zero accountability. They while they stop and search you, they they threaten you, they they push you around, they beat you up sometimes. They they stop and search you without any reason, which is illegal under the law here. And um, at the same time they do that, they humiliate you. Wait, the, the police is running right now. The reporter is saying that uh, does, he doesn't understand why the police is running since all the people is here on the on the sidewalks and then they, they just suddenly started to run. There, like that. The, re the reporter is saying that all people here, the, uh, initially the police accused them of illegal assembly and that they, they said that they had to stop and search everyone. But then they start running. Then the reporter said that suddenly the police started to run. People said, you, you told us we were in an illegal assembly. Uh, what the, the reporter is asking, excuse me, is, what is that smell? The, the person said that's pepper spray. So they, they used pepper spray on the scene. And now, wait, now we see a group of raptors and more riot police coming on. Now the reporter, the reporter is also wondering uh, the, the situation. Is that they have to leave or they have to stay here for a stop and search? Because earlier they told her, they told them that they had to stop, be here to be stopped and searched. But now they're telling them to go away, go away. So the situation is confusing even for the reporter. So again, the police has been stopped and searching people illegally. This means that they stop and searching people who are just standing around doing nothing. Uh, they apparently they also pepper sprayed people um, and uh, I believe inside the shopping mall they already arrested few people but uh, wait for me to confirm that also thank you so much Ryan Robbie I really really appreciate it thank you for your constant support Oh, 
咁而家咧，我整完係。系十分咧，系暴暴躁嘅，并且叫记者唔好喐嘅。Now the police are telling their reporters not to move。警员咧系十分之暴躁啦。叫咧，在場人士提供身份證嘅，係叫攞曬啲證件出嚟咁嘅。我咧十分之暴躁啊！咁啊，見到咧，除咗係，除咗係咧，誒，現場警員嘅聲音比較暴躁之外咧，就係咧，誒，嗰個。喺對講機入面咧，都係有誒，對講機入邊咧都係有誒，都係咧誒，好大聲嘅喺喺嗰個對講機入邊。They're they're telling them to go over to Argyle Street. They're yelling at them. They're telling reporters go over there to like Argos. There's a lot of people here who are waiting to be stopped and searched. You can see they all were asked to remove their face masks. Like all the people here, usually people in Hong Kong, especially during winter, would be wearing flu masks. Now they're all standing next to the wall. All those people. The police is yelling at the reporters. Reporters, I'll tell you one more time. All of you, go across the road. I'll say it one more time. Go across the road. Wait, now they're running one more time. So also the police here is inside uh, the train station, I believe it's uh, Calum Bay. Calum Bay is the relatively east uh, on the green green line, the station Calum Bay. Wait. 
They they didn't bring a female officer for checking that girl, and uh, they pointed at the cameras, and we we're like, "Hey, dude, I'm touching this girl. Block the camera." Do you see that on the top left? Uh, and it seems someone was like was telling them it seems that someone told them stop like stop uh, touching that girl and uh, then they start being defensive like who's touching anyone they started to oh god That's iCable News. iCable News at um, 10.09, let's say. So by the way, the bottom left screen is uh, Callum Bay outside the train station and uh, here's Monko. I believe it's Callum Bay. If it's not, I'll let you know.
now they're yelling, dismantle the police force, do, do it immediately. You see now at 10, 15 now, the police seems to be starting to go back into their vehicles in some of them at least in uh, the Callan Bay area. Someone very emotional yelling at the police. Before I continue, I wanted to say thanks to everyone for joining this live stream and for being here. I hope you had a Merry Christmas or if you celebrate any other holiday, hope you're just having a good time with your, your friends and families and you get to rest from, from everything, you know? I'll wait to something. Wait, how old is that girl? Holy crap, how... how do, you, do you guys see that girl that was being stopped and searched? She was like... Eight! Or at least it looked to me like she was eight. People are saying uh, they're just like triads, they're just like gangsters.
頭先記者見到咧，係現場咧，係最。本名嘅男子已經係被警方帶走㗎啦，咁其中一人咧就、呃、最少一人啦，就係、是、手咧被綁住縮帶啦，係被拘捕嘅。誒咁而家咧其實繼續可以見到係有防暴警啦喺而家咧商場一樓嘅位置嗰度聚集緊嘅。So the reporter saying that from they they already took away the the young man。點咧？出面亦都係有防暴警啦。Uh, over here, um, but people are still as assembling. These people are still gathering. No, wait. Yeah, people are still gathering though. Even with all the police presence. Yeah, by the way, uh, Apple Daily is not pro CCP. Apple Daily, actually, uh, Apple Daily is one of the most anti-government uh, media there is out there. Uh, the the chat though is full with fifty cents all the time. You can, guys, you can try go and use the chat in Apple Daily. It's absolutely impossible, and that's why we are so like we are so strict in our live chat. We have several. Wait, uh, they're taking away the person here in Mongko. Uh, several people here onto the police vehicle. At twenty, uh, ten with twenty-two minutes and fifty-five seconds. The reporter saying that the group of riot police went down to the old taxi taxi stop area, and also here you can see the images where the police are like stationed all over the place. I just want to remind everyone that yesterday night for Christmas Eve the police went inside sh shopping malls in different locations people were gathering in shopping malls like every single year happens every single year people go to shopping malls to gather uh, to celebrate Christmas you know uh, New Year's the same thing people gathering shopping malls they do the countdown and all that stuff but uh, yesterday night last night the police just went inside, these terrorists went inside different shopping malls and locations and they beat up everyone 
they arrested people indiscriminately, just randomly arresting and assaulting people, beating them on the heads with batons. A person, a young person, fell from the third, uh, from the, th I believe it was the third or the second floor, to the first floor. As he was running away from the police, he had to go to the hospital as an emergency, and the police afterwards arrested him, with the charged him of assaulting a police officer, just for running away. But they're showing something over there. Uh, they're showing another live stream. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, the police. Uh, also, two more people apparently fell from heights later on that night. Uh, I think it was two, at least one that I'm sure about. They they fell from a height, like a third floor, and um, they they fell from a platform high up on a building. And uh, when that happened, people saw immediately. Uh, Raptor police, the, the, the special, the, the riot police with blue uniforms. They saw them on that platform, even they were like using their flashlights to point down right when the person fell down. So eyewitnesses and uh, other evidence points uh, to the police that they are the ones that actually make the person fall down. I. I haven't been able to do more thorough research on that situation if anyone has any more updates regarding on the people that fell from from that high platform last night please let us know in the comments if you have any any new update or evidence or anything like that Uh, also, they were sh they they shot at people with uh, different type of projectiles. They fired a lot of tear gas last night as well uh, during Christmas Eve. Just going around firing tear gas where people were just gathering on the sidewalks. Like even guys, there was a line for the toilet. All right, public public toilet in Hong Kong during a holiday. There was a line uh, to get to the toilets. And the, the police came over and said, this is an illegal assembly, go away now. This is the kind of stupid behavior the police is um, having all the time, harassing everyone, assaulting everyone. They, they... Several people were injured last night. People were injured in their eyes, on their heads. Skull, skulls were cracked open with batons. And now again, during Christmas at night, we see the police doing similar stuff, just invading. I just started to, to live stream, so I'm not sure the, uh, the amount of violence by the police before I started this live stream. If you know some details, like if they fired tear gas, if they fired other type of ammunition towards people or anything like that, please do. Let me know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Basically, the, he's he's calling them out on their brutality, telling them we were not forget, saying that it was you the ones who brought the violence to the universities. Uh, the, it was you the ones who there fired thousands of tear gas to and against the university uh, university students. University students, I reminder for everyone. The police fired over 2,000 tear gas rounds over in, in one day at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And thousand other, thousands, thousand more, thousands of other type of ammunition as well. Wait, something's going on right here. The, the, the traffic police is stopping a motorcycle. Understanding what's going on, give me a minute. Pepper spray, pepper spray, they're pepper spraying. They pepper spray the reporters and the people who are here. Here's a replay of what just happened. Let's see if we can understand what happened once again. 
they told this person to get off the the, the, the bike, They're telling him to go somewhere. People were very upset. And this guy here holding the pepper spray. Why are traffic police holding pepper spray cans? And these guys started to pepper spray everyone. Piece of crap. Wait, I think he's getting... They, they keep... Bringing that person somewhere else. There, more pepper spray. Or is it the same weight at uh, 248? Oh, might, might be the same, the same, different times, sorry. It, we saw it three times from different angles at different times. Uh, because the the time the time on different streams is a little bit off by a few seconds, so I'm gonna refresh them. VS is asking, celebrating Christmas is a crime in Hong Kong? Apparently under the eyes of the government and the police, yes. Anything people do right now in Hong Kong is a crime. And uh, it's very unfortunate. Wait, now they're stopping and searching people here or they're just threatening them? Wait a second. Yeah, so they were just threatening them and telling them to stay away. Wait, there's ambulances here. Wait, 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 there's an ambulance over here. In Mong Kok, there's an ambulance. I just noticed that and I don't know what happened. Hopefully, uh, no civilian or reporter is injured. So they're stopping. They're stopping and searching the the motorcycle. Here they're checking the motorcycle. They're like inspecting the whole motorcycle. The earlier brought the the man over here, over there, and um, of course they're not letting the reporters get any close. And now they're running. Here where we were seeing the ambulance, they're just riot police just running. They're telling, hey, you dropped something. Officer, you dropped something, the crowd said. <laughs> and my phone was listening to me, apparently, and uh, my phone thought I was asking for something. David, David Tran, that is a very good question. First of all, thank you for your contribution and your support. As usual, thank you so much. And uh, your question is very good. Are, are they getting paid 
double time working on a holiday or it's not a paid holiday. I don't know, probably they might get extra paid during holidays. Because you know, they just try to to get as much money from our taxes as possible. And um, so if it is common in Hong Kong that people that work, for example, like for example, I know people that work in McDonald's, and uh, they can they can. I think it was that you can get paid. You can choose the shift on Christmas, for example, and uh, it has higher. Like you get paid more than on regular shifts. I don't know how it works for the police terrorists, though. Might be. If anyone knows, please do let us know. So it's triple, wow, X, XDD, XDA said it's triple, the payment, wow, that, uh, that sucks, just, holy crap, triple the payment, ah, oh, damn it, it just pains me that it's our taxes that is financing these terrorists, of course, indirectly, people are not willing to. And wait, a lot of people are coughing. We hear a lot of people coughing and, and like very upset, like almost throwing up uh, here on the bottom left. They might have just pepper sprayed a whole crowd. You can hear you can hear people coughing and like almost throwing up in the background. Cash Benning is asking if I think he's asking me if I want to I want Britain to return to Hong Kong. Uh, no, I don't want Britain to return to Hong Kong. I think after so long, Hong Kong has its own identity, and uh, I think Hong Kong should be ruled by true Hong Kongers, elected by the people. And I think all other countries that are trying to put their hands in Hong Kong, like. China is at this moment. They should just stay away and leave Hong Kong be. Now, that I don't mean that we, I, we don't want or I don't want other countries to help Hong Kong. That's different. I want every country in the free world to, to hopefully help Hong Kong. What I mean by other countries keeping their hands off Hong Kong. I mean those that want to try to rule Hong Kong by force like China it is at the moment so guys Hong Kong has its own language its own culture its own economy its own currency its own passport its own identity its own everything they should just be left to be Hong Kong not Britain not China that's my personal opinion at least now back to the stream Mongkok here the right police of course, stop and searching more and more and more people. They're just going to keep doing it all night. Um, and the people are going to keep getting upset. Right now, this person is here standing, trying to trying to ask questions to the riot police. They keep telling him to, to F off and to just stay away.
So Akash, thank you for your question. I think a lot of people in Hong Kong will agree with me to, uh, as well. I, that's what I believe. If you are curious of what other people in Hong Kong might think as well. Hello lovely Daisuke. Yes, it looks terrible tonight as well. Um, it looks a bit better than yesterday. Last night was truly horrible. Um, today looks pretty bad as well. They have been arrested, arresting people and uh, pepper spraying people. Wait, something just happened here. Oh, I forgot to label when they uh, they pepper sprayed a crowd of reporters uh, just like 10, 20 minutes ago. When was it? Do you guys remember when they pepper sprayed people? I'm writing the tags of the time tags in the in the video comments. Now over here. Okay, black banner. So all of the sudden, black banner to the people who were gathering on the sidewalks. So you see people just walking away like, hey, I was just walking here and now you're just screaming and pointing your guns at me. What the hell, man? So they were showing the black banner in Monco. Black banner means that they are going to fire tear gas. Most of the time though, you have to see if they're wearing the the gas masks. If they are wearing the gas masks, is the is the actual warning that they are going to fire tear gas. Um some people some people say oh at least they give you the warning uh, of the black flag before they fire I want to explain a little bit about that no it's not they're not actually warning you because in a lot of occasions they fire and then they show the black banner so the black banner is actually used so that in the press conferences the police can say hey we gave you warnings we gave you warnings and you decided to stay. Um, it's just so that they look more legitimate, trying to make their themselves look better. But in so many occasions, they just come, fire tear gas, fire projectiles, and then they show the black banner, then they show the orange banner. Well, sometimes they randomly show it so that they can say, yeah, we, we all the time, we, we give you warnings, but which is not the case. So it's just like uh, the, the the whole thing with the banner is something more like a PR stunt than an actual warning. And also, like, warning us doesn't give you the right to do it without a reason. They, they show the, the black banner, for example, but that doesn't mean that people are actually doing an illegal assembly. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's something of the sort. Uh, that that sort of things. Wait, um, just quickly refreshing all the other streams so that we get. Wait, they're pushing people here. You can see the emergency volunteers help. This person apparently got pepper spray. They're asking for first aid volunteers. Okay, black black banner, blue banner and black banner. So you see, these people who are just in the on the sidewalks like this are being accused of breaking the law and in an illegal assembly. Yeah, they're yelling, "This is an illegal assembly! This is an illegal assembly!" How can this be an illegal assembly? People have the right to use the sidewalks. Okay, pepper spraying, pepper spraying, they pepper spraying more. Here's another angle. Okay, 
So first aid volunteers are treating a person on the ground here. A uh, reporter apparently. Guys, if you're a reporter and you're in Hong Kong or in any other place like this, make sure you're wearing goggles all the time. I remember I, 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 I was wearing goggles on a regular basis every time I, I was out and the police were out there. Especially when like recording, they love pepper spraying reporters who are recording. And uh, just wearing a pair of goggles can make a tremendous difference. It doesn't have to be like those uh, very expensive ones. Just those you can buy to like, you know, work at home with like cutting wood or something like that. All right. Again, the black banner and the blue banner being shown to these people who are just standing on... They're saying that... So now they are yelling, You're in a legal assembly, we're going to use force and tear gas to make you disperse. Okay, more pepper spray. Do you see that? Just pepper spraying people who are not any kind of threat. There's not even a lot of people there. They're telling this reporter to take off his mask. They're telling them, go over there. Go away through through that area.
I couldn't get anything from that useless waste of time call police down there. Uh, just pretending to do something. Uh, anyways, up here, the, 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 the police is threatening people individually. They're telling them, Hey, so you're not leaving. Are you sure you don't want to leave? You see, they're pointing their, their guns at people. Getting very close to the reporters. These are reporters. They have the right to be there reporting. They're saying, though they are attacking us. They are attacking us. Now someone's asking, who is attacking you? Who is the person who attacked you? They're saying, they are attacking us. So go stand over there. We're being attacked. And then he proceeded to yell at a lady. Lady, go away. Uh, you're useless being here. J. O. Young, yes, uh, media, I always, liaison is also part of the police, they're supposed to be able to, like, uh, reply questions from the media and, like, negotiate and things like that, handle the situation, and, uh, but they're useless, they're just a bunch of, wait, something's going on. Right, so now that they're here. Apparently they were showing the black banner. I saw it in another screen, Napo Daily. Momo, Momo, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure Momo uh, is very happy as well. Uh, your message is Merry Christmas, Lucas and Momo the cat. Take care. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too, Momo. Also, Danish, Danish Viking, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. A Merry Christmas, if or any holiday that you celebrate, and um, thank you so much. If you need anything, please let me know. Stay safe. Hello, why, Re? I didn't say hi to you earlier.
Hi, Rebecca. That sounds very lovely. Fiona Wong, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, your message is, have a peaceful Christmas. Thanks for the live report. Thank you so much, Fiona. You too. I hope you can have a peaceful Christmas. Please be safe. You know, Hong Kong is such a dangerous place right now, so I really hope you're safe. All You and all your friends and loved ones. Thank you so much. Now, guys, back to the live stream. The police keep showing the, the, the black banner here. Wait, let's listen to the reporter. All right, not, not too many details, but... Um, wait, okay. All right, so here in Hong Kong, the, the police, after the police left, like the police have been uh, stopping searching people and, 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 and telling people to go away, etc. So after the police dismissed, people actually uh, were upset. They came to the... Uh, to the roads, they took it to the roads, and they are asking more people to stand on the roads. And uh, even you could you could see that the bus was not able to move forward. The the reporter said as well. Uh, people were wearing masks, uh, as the reporter also said. And uh, but she's not sure what is the intention of these people right now. VS, thank you so much. I will keep it up. I will keep doing my best uh, as much as I can. Thank you so much. That 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 lady, that girl there, was yelling at them, saying like, "You think you you can do whatever the hell you want?" And then they keep yelling at people with speakers and, and shit. Wait, maybe it's not. That speaker probably is a person speaking. I'm not sure right now. I think she's a reporter being harassed by the police. Wait, they're getting ready to shoot? Alright, luckily they didn't shoot.
You can see that how hard it is to record when the police is just pointing their those white lasers at the cameras. Now the police is yelling, this is an illegal assembly, go away immediately. You're breaking the law basically, they are telling the people. So the person on the speaker indeed is a uh, citizen, not the, not the police. So basically the person on the speaker is saying, Alright guys, today, today is Christmas. Yesterday was Christmas Eve and everything. So basically the, the whole free world is celebrating. Uh, but we have the, the corrupt cops that are just harassing and assaulting us. I want to say thank you to Baby Cheeses, Chan Wilson, and Bumby. Thank you so much, guys. Baby Cheeses said, Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis. Let's hope things change for better in Hong Kong for the year 2020. I really hope so, too. Chan Wilson, thank you. Chan Wilson watches the live stream every day. Keep up the English report. Thank you so much, Chan Wilson. Bumby, Merry Christmas, wish you all the best, I wish you all the best too, Bumby, thank you so much, thank you guys. Indeed. Baby cheeses from this could be a Merry Christmas, but it is now just a Merry Crisis.
屌你老母！咁多人死你都唔死，食食屎啊黑警！啊、uh, ，they're showing the blue banner one more time。Um, so it says there the the the, the meeting or proceed procession. Uh, anyway, you can read the banner, basically saying people who are here are in an illegal assembly, therefore they are breaking the law. And here you see also the、uh, warning tear smoke、uh, banner. We are nearing twenty thousand rounds of tear gas, by the way. During the last half year, almost twenty thousand rounds of tear gas. Which, in one occasion, the police used over two thousand against university students with inside a university within one day. One day, they used over two thousand against university students. He's telling the pip. He's saying, "You eat shit. You eat shit." So, so someone was telling something to him. He said, "I don't want to talk with you." Then the person said, "Then you eat shit." And then this guy said, "No, you eat shit. You eat shit." And then start say, "Oh, like, oh god." It really feels like I'm watching eight year old, eight year olds. The lady on the speaker is telling the police, "You are the ones who attack people. You're the ones who attack people. You're the ones who rape. You're the ones who, to、uh, beat us up." By the way, people are still being stopped and searched、um, while the police is completely blocking the cameras. They have been going at that reporter for a long time, actually. That female reporter.、Uh, she's been, she has been being stopped and searched for a very long time right now. Again, threatening reporters. Again, the police on the speaker saying,、uh, "This is an illegal assembly. Go away immediately. We're gonna use force." Which again, the police saying that this is an illegal assembly does not mean that this is an illegal assembly.
No, they're saying like, move forward. He's yelling, he's yelling, reporters go back, go back. Now they're telling reporters don't stop beyond our police cordon. This is a police cordon. Go over there, don't stand behind our cordon. hear what they were talking about. So basically he's, he was saying like, I told you, get out of this street, like go to that street. I told you, you didn't listen, now go, all right, go. So that lady, that lady is saying, that lady was saying that you did, you could do, you couldn't do anything against the Japanese. You only know how to beat your own people. You only know how to beat young people. You only know how to like kill young people. But when other people do something, you you're like, I think she's referring to the the, the, the Chinese government in general. And by the way, what she's saying is true. The Chinese have very, very little uh, military experience. Um, she's saying that the only know the the only people they know how to to kill to beat up is their own people, the Chinese people. The Chinese government only knows how to kill Chinese people. But like they failed to protect the country from invasion. Jupiter is helping us translate. Hi, Jupiter. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Jupiter is saying, you only take money from the CCP, you mainlander police, yelled the granny.
By the way, I want to say thank you. Uh, big thanks to. Wait a second. Look at that. I want to say thank you to Eagles. Eagles, thank you so much. Eagles comment is, thanks again for your coverage, Chile. Wishing you a Merry Christmas, mate. Stay safe, Hong Kong. Thank you so much, Eagles. Please stay safe as well. Uh, remember, always wear goggles. And uh, hope you and all your dear ones are safe as well. Thank you so much, Eagles. Merry Christmas to you too. So, wait, guys, do you realize the police have been walking for like three streets while holding the flags and just they keep yelling, all of you who are here are in an illegal assembly, go away immediately, go away immediately. So basically they're just... It's, oh, it's so, it's so much bullshit. This is a police warning. These uh, people on this street are in illegal assembly. So basically the whole city is an illegal assembly. Wherever you go, there is an illegal assembly. Because you're going there with the flag open. So basically it's a police state. Illegal m martial law. Hey Eduardo Andres. Keep up the fight in Chile. I hope you guys can defeat your stupid government. Eduardo Andres said, here in Chile, the authorities used the same strategy of covering the streets of police to prevent meetings of people. And then they would beat, I want to add to what Eduardo said, that in Chile, then they, yeah. Guys, I always tell you the same thing. Chile and Hong Kong are very different uh, in background, but the oppression by the government and the oppression by the police is very, very similar. beating people around Sophia Renting is saying on Sky News about an hour ago, I saw a Hong Kong politician, Claudia, I think I know which Claudia, uh, talking about what is happening. Jupi Star also added that the granny earlier said that to your family, I just came out with my family and you're beating up the young people, Yet the gran yelled the granny. Now the police keep saying this is, an, uh, this is a police announcement Go away immediately, this is an illegal assembly PJ friends, Merry Christmas brother, I just have to say, go grandma. Yeah, we have seen so many good grannies and granddads standing for people, for the young people, you know. You know, the, most of the older generations, they don't really care because they know that it's not going to affect them uh, personally. But our grannies like this and granddads like Uncle Chen that 
they stay they stand up for other people rather than themselves they know that they won't leave until like uh, like 2050 or something like that but they're concerned about the young people who are being beaten up who are being tortured who are being raped and killed And it's very touching to see, like, for me, seeing the, especially grand grandparents uh, standing up for the young people is, is so touching. Um, I think grannies and grandparents they 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 really have like um, a special care for for children. I think they don't expect too much from children, they just want them to be happy. Uh, I don't know, it's just a feeling I have. It's very touching. Keeper Gurr is saying the ironic thing is their Christmas is ruined as well. Um, I mean, yeah, these guys are probably enjoying it. The, if you're talking about the police, these guys are these evil people, these um, terrorists are actually enjoying yelling at people, occupying the streets, doing whatever they want, sexually harassing girls, firing tear gas, poisoning. You know how many animals have been found dead? because of all the tear gas. Elderly people already start to die at hospitals because overexposure to tear gas. These are also kind of deaths that are actually because of the police, but that will never be in official reports. Because of course, no, that, that elderly died from uh, res respiratory failure at the hospital. So it's, it was not killed by the police. However, that uh, that granddad actually was exposed to tear gas. Those things will never be like in headlines or and, and, and unless it happens a lot all of a sudden. But right now what the Hong Kong police and the Hong Kong government and of course the CCP are doing is a slow genocide. We used to describe it as a slow motion Tiananmen Square. Basically they are killing thousands but they do it slowly and then they do it silently. It's a silent massacre that is occurring over months and months. Mail from 73. The residents should say this when Popo asks them why they are here. We're here to watch the circus and you are the clowns. That's a good one. Hey, by the way, I didn't say thank you to Jovent Mo. Thank you, Jovent Mo. Besides being a moderator, uh, you're helping me out. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, you said. Only the Hong Kong police needs to disperse. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jovent. Horst, Horst Romer, thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate your thoughts and, and what you said. Eduardo Andres is saying it is a moral duty to overthrow all the psychopathic government. 
I agree with you, Eduardo. The governments are the ones that should fear people and not the other way around. Governments are supposed to be for the benefit of people, not for their own benefit. So today we have witnessed people illegally detained, illegally arrested uh, here in Hong Kong. Mainly we've been seeing images from Mong Kok and uh, Kowloon Bay. We were seeing images earlier. People uh, in the shopping mall inside the train station, the riot police were stationed all over the place. They were arresting people from the shopping malls for no reason. Illegal arrest, illegal detentions. Now let's listen. So the reporter is basically explaining that uh, there was a lot of riot police here and uh, now suddenly they got inside the police vehicles and are getting ready to go away. Now they're going away, you can see on the other screens. Uh, but the police has been here and like yelling at people and everything. She's explaining basically what we've seen. Exactly. For those of you who don't know, in Hong Kong, the police gets extra payment. So if they are, for example, let's make an example. Their shift is from 7 to 9 or something like that. And uh, they, they stay until 10 or something like that. They can ask for extra time. And for that they need, I mean, extra time payment. And they have to... Uh, they have to do something. So they have to either fire tear gas or they have to arrest people. Or they have to have something concrete to like claim the extra payment. And uh, they, they, they maximize the amount of extra payment that they get like uh they they take turns so because they have a maximum amount you can get every month so they make sure that every uh police comes the exact amount necessary to maximize the the amount of extra payment they get and now they have been getting paid so much money they have millionaire salaries and um well make millionaire depending on the currency but uh, just you have to take my word for it they are getting so much money they already were one of the highest paid police in the world and now they're getting like three times what they used to get I'll be right back. Give me a second.
Alright, I'm back. Um, did something happen while I was away? Um, I just heard like police sirens and things like that. Josephine said something um, they're so tough standing there in their gear and weapons one-on-one -on -one without weapon I bet I could take one out and I'm a girl I bet you could I and uh, I, I say it first because I think you're awesome and uh, and I also agree that they are all so confident uh, only because they got all their gear and uh, even with gear they're so pathetic. I think I saved. I saved a video. Let me show you this. Please take a look at this. Wait. Uh, okay, so at the same time you can see that they keep doing illegal stop and search. And they target girls so much more, I think. I personally think they... Oh, well, there is, is a couple. So they're stop and searching a couple. All right, let me show you this video regarding uh, Josephine's comment. Here, this guy just coming all so tough. Hey, I'm going to stop and search you. Stay over there. Uh, wait, where are my bodies? No, I can't do this by myself. So that's, even when they have gear, if they're alone, they're cowards, pathetic pieces of crap. Chupi Star, what, um, sorry, maybe I didn't understand. What dog racing video? I haven't seen that. I'm missing out on something. Maybe you can send me the link, Jupy Star. Uh, yes, XDDXDA, I think it's important to talk about that. The amount of suicides. The mysterious dead bodies found. So, right now I don't have the, the exact numbers. Um, I would love to make a video talking about just this. I, 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 I need to start doing the research. Uh, but one example, guys, in Hong Kong, so many mysterious suicides have been going on. And the police is so quick to just arrive at the at the scene and say, nope, this is just a normal a normal suicide, uh, nothing to investigate. And then they cremate uh, cremate the uh, cremate crem cremate. They burn the bodies very quickly. They they don't uh, they don't reveal anything, you know. But these we're talking about people who fall from 
apparent supposedly from fall from height like I don't know the 40th floor but there's no blood at the scene and the body is stiff and uh, with the hands like in front of the body or in some cases there is even one case where a person literally has half of his leg uh, chopped off his leg is chopped in half and his hand is also chopped is there right next to him and there is no blood and the police said it was a person that fell from a building and then they said nothing to investigate so many girls found naked when they they're found dead girls that like I didn't really I don't think it's normal that that a person will strip off their clothes and then jump off a building and same thing happened with uh, the student that was found dead on the sea that she was a, a swimming team uh, she was part of the swimming team but she also was completely naked when she was found on the sea and then the police yet still said nothing to investigate a report from a firefighter that I've been t I, guys I've been talking to you this for over over three months I think I think already like three months ago I was talking about this the firefighter who in a report said in the past few months there has been more dead bodies found floating on the sea than in the past 10 years combined. And that was three months ago. Exactly, as Jupiter Star saying, the reason there is no blood is because the person that was found dead was dead already for a long time. When, when, when you're dead, First of all, you're, when you die, your heart stops beating. And what makes you bleed a lot is the beating of your heart, basically. And that your, your body is, is basically still fresh. Right? And uh, when you're dead for a while, you know, I think it's called rigor mortis kicks in. And uh, if someone has medical background can explain this better. But when people has died for a, for a while already and then they are like injured they don't bleed as much maybe someone can explain that better if there is any doctors in the audience but the thing is that so many cases like this even people that you know there is a case the picture someone took a picture from above it the police said that the person fell from a very high building but the person has had his ha hands both hands in front of him if someone falls from building you will expect the hands to be like the person completely laying on the ground but the person was with both of his hands in front of him and Steve and uh yeah Joven Mo thank you for explaining what I was yeah and sorry sorry if what I'm talking about is very graphic I, I don't want to show any picture right now but uh, you can search online and there is so many pictures of these cases that the police all all immediately exclaim no just a regular suicide nothing to investigate Sorry, I should zoom in because it might be very hard to look at the screen when it's so small. So there was uh, some paper and cardboard boxes set on fire here. You can see like cardboard and paper. Uh, and the, But the firefighters quickly came and, and put it out. The sneaker pie, but you know, I think the, the main problem is that even if we can overthrow the police like I really think that all people in Hong Kong could just fight the police and will definitely win against them but the problem is that Hong Kong has 7 million people and China has over 1.3 1.4 billion people so and 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 the PLA has I think 2 million uh, 2 million uh, active troops so, 
it's hard to think that we can actually do anything because we are we are in Hong Kong is just seven million people and but uh, if we we could manage to overthrow the police and everything but then the China would just say no yeah they they're fighting at the police uh, so now we have to interfere with tanks and 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 and, and uh, you know fully geared military and, and things like that so I think is a is a kind of Difficult situation. Wait, something's going on there. Uh, let's take a look here. They're showing a building. They're telling them to calm down. Usually, usually this happens when someone throws something from the buildings. They will go up and ask them to calm down. I'm not sure if that's what happened. And over here we see on the alley. We see some people there on the alley, at the alley. This is happening in Mong Kok, uh, for Simar or Asimar. This is happening in Hong Kong. It's been happening in Hong Kong um, mainly. Yeah, sneaker pie. I know. Uh, it's very yeah. It's very difficult to say. I'm. I do agree, and sometimes I myself think that the the police should just should be overpowered and and thrown to the garbage. But uh, to be honest, it's very difficult, and I couldn't say what what is the best way forward. To be honest. Judo Hokon, hi, thank you for your comment. Judo Hokon is saying that there was a floating dead male body with dumbbells tied to their to his legs a few days ago. And and the Popo said that there is no suspicious. There's nothing suspicious about that. And um and F C E D, I don't know what's F C E D, maybe you had a typo there. And this and said that he was a missing person but that sounds horrible just like someone dead with like drowned with dumbbells attached to somebody's body and then the, the police said there's nothing suspicious about that that's crazy yeah Asimar I was saying this is in Mong Kok this is happening in Mong Kok MK And his mouth was taped Josephine added Oh, FCD fact checked Thank you Right, didn't know that Thank you So And his mouth was taped he had dumbbells attached, and the police just said, "This is a, this is a norm. This is not any sus." Like, ah, can't even talk because the police is so stupid and, and evil. They said that that's not suspicious. Jupiter, yes, we need to expand the yellow ribbon economic circle to the rest of the world. That is to buy nothing that is made by Chai Nazi. Guys, if you can help us just by boycotting the Chinese economy, it will make a difference. Right now, China is not caring about the economy as much as they... Um, like, what I'm trying to say is that since they are doing well because they get trades with everyone around the world they can just focus on oppression 
and uh, people inside mainland China will support them. I mean, not all of them, of course, but a lot of people in China think the government is great because uh, I have money and uh, I have more money than my parents did. Wait, now they're taking someone arrested. As you can see a young person here, a young male, more arrested people. Just people being illegally arrested. More people being illegally arrested here in Hong Kong tonight. Today is Christmas, by the way. Pursue NYC. It's not suspicious. Right, because they know that they did it, so it's not suspicious. We know, we know who the guilt, the, the the, we know who the perpetrator is, and they know we know, and we know they know we know. So yeah, there is no suspicion at all. Yeah, I was saying, uh, if everyone around the world help us boycott the Chinese economy. We might see an uprise of every single one, including the people within the CCP might uh, be angry and just like say screw this. Yeah, lemon panda is true, and and I think also it has to do with the uh, as technology becomes better, uh, things become cheaper and uh, easier to produce so yeah but what I, I think I what I mean is like um, in China like people were used to be very poor and some people see like cities that were poor like 10 or 20 years ago now they see them like very large cities and that is the whole reason that they say no uh, our country is great our government is great but uh, the 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 truth of the fact is that a lot of people in China is still very, very poor and uh, a lot of suffering and they build their economy based on human right violations. They're asking them. Sneaker Pie is asking, how long do you think it will take for the protest to have an effect uh, on the Hong Kong movement? It's hard to guess, to be honest. I I would love to. I would love to know the answer to that. Um, it might be. I mean, to be honest, it's already starting to get an effect. Uh, countries around the world are starting to do something uh, especially the US is doing a lot um, and hopefully more countries can do what the US is doing um, and I think uh, if the protest at one point can start making countries recognize Taiwan as, uh, as a country I think that would change things uh, and uh, that would change things drastically but to Yeah, I can't. I can't really say for sure. Yeah, Jupiter. Jupiter added something that I think is important to think about. 
Like 100 million CCP members and their families are enslaving 1.3 billion Chinese to make products to sell to the West. Raggy, yeah, revolution for the world is gonna happen. I think it's already happening. Let's take a look here. I'm interested to know what happened here. Did someone throw something from a building or what are they trying to access that that building there? Like there I see them going up that staircase. Did somebody see anything? Did someone attack someone and they hide there, then hide there or something like that? Usually when we see that, those kind of situations, the reporters recording inside a private building or something like that, usually it's like someone attacked someone and then ran inside that building or someone from that building threw an object from the windows. Oh, sneaker pie. I know that. Uh, don't don't worry. We're all like just brainstorming and, and thinking what is going to happen and like trying to figure things out. I I, I got you. I, I I got what you're trying to get at. So uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I know you're you're very invested into what is happening in Hong Kong, and I really appreciate it. Hardin lover, thanks to you for being here. Um, yeah, don't worry. Um, I think I we're having a Christmas together here, guys. All of us who are watching this live stream, we're basically um, spending Christmas with the people of Hong Kong. So yeah, Pardin, thank you so much. Part is it Pardin or Pardon? Sorry that I don't know how to pronounce most of your names, guys. Hongkongers need their own branch of the Marines. When you buy anything made in China, you're paying to CCP, boycott China. Thanks, Milo. M and uh, some words I can't read. But M said that there are ton, there are tens of thousands of protests against the Communist Party in China every year. But the Communist Party controls the media and public opinion, and these news are difficult to spread. Indeed, there there are many protests against the Chinese government, and most of them, I think, probably almost every single one of them, uh, get suppressed. So we can't see news about it. We can't see videos about it. And uh, but sometimes you find those videos that manage to leak out of the great, great firewall, and uh, you see people are actually upset because not at the 
lack of democracy uh, in most of the of most of the occasions. Sometimes it's like, for example, the the government suddenly needs your land, so they just to make a shopping mall or something, so they just tear apart your houses and uh, things like this. Or the, not really long ago, few I think a month ago or so, they wanted to make a crematorium. Is it called crematorium? where they burn dead bodies they wanted to make make it near some residences and uh like a residential area and people were really opposing to that and actually it was very scary it actually uh, was i find it very um suspicious that suddenly they want to build a crematorium near uh, at the south of china south in china is relatively near to hong kong I don't know, I hope it's not related. Um, like, why would they build a crematorium all of a sudden there where people don't want it to be built? Again, I'm going to quickly summarize what has been happening. Basically, people during Christmas, eating, walking on the streets, gathering, and uh, the police just going around massively and illegally stop and searching people, arresting several, and uh, pepper spraying people, threatening them. I don't know, I, I started to live stream late today. And I didn't see any earlier cases where they beat someone up or or fired tear gas. But if it happened, please let us know in the comments. South FLP, uh, South FL Pyrotechnics um, is asking what will happen to those arrested. So most of the people arrested, if they're young or even old people they will be tortured for two days and um come on lucas don't be so exaggerated there is not torture all right so first of all they illegally arrest you they take you to the police detention centers which might not be the closest one they the, you remember the fun uh, fun oakland san sorry san oakland detention center they take you to a random detention center. They put you inside, even when you're injured. So, all right, they, they arrest you. They put you in a detention cell while you're injured. That already classifies as human rights violations. They... Wait, the truck is just speeding there. Um, I'm going to keep talking while we are looking at images of the police just standing around and going patrolling and going back to their vehicles these police terrorists again i'm gonna do a brief description of what happens when you get arrested in hong kong they they beat you up they arrest you so you're injured you're in a police detention center um they put you in a room that has a clock but they remove the batteries from the clocks and they take oh the the clock is broken uh what are you gonna do about that so you spend hours in a room without knowing how long or what time is it. That's a kind of psychological torture that can actually drive people crazy. They give you water when you ask for water. But the water that they give you is dirty. It has particles. It is dark. or it, some if, if People even said that it looked like pee when they gave them water. Um... They deny your access to lawyers. They make it almost impossible for you to call someone. They keep beating you up inside the police detention centers. 
I have a friend who 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 was who who was arrested. I have several friends who have been arrested, and they have tell they have told me that people inside that you could hear people screaming. This also coming from all kind of uh, people that have been arrested and have reported this. You can hear people screaming in pain. They will do things like st stand on top of you. They will attack. Uh, they will. Uh, like tied your legs and your hands to the tables. Wait, and now they're, the riot police is running suddenly, charging on the streets here in Mongkok. Over here. I haven't finished telling you everything. I'll keep telling you after we pay. T I I, I want to pay attention to what is going on on the screen right now. Now again, like the police just suddenly came back at at uh, twelve ten. So at twelve ten, and you, I don't know if it's the same that we're on the street already. But they came over. They started running. They're stop stopping people, arresting them. Apparently, they pushing them against the wall, hands on their back. They're shaking their pepper sprays, eager to use them. And they're just running around. Lovely Daisuke, thank you so much. Good night.
All right, so now they're saying again, this is an illegal assembly. You're breaking the law. Go away immediately. Go away immediately. We're going to use force to disperse you. And they're loading as they load the tear gas weapons and all, all the other weapons they have. By the way, a riot is not not doing what the police tells you. The police is under is supposed to be under the law as well. If they tell you to go away, but you have the right to be there, you can say to the police, "No, I will not go away because I have the right to be here." If the police tell you, "Don't record me. Don't don't uh, stop your phone for recording me." You can say no, I will not stop you. I will not stop recording because I have the right to do so. This is not a riot, all right? So people have the right to be on the streets to use the sidewalks to do whatever they want. And the police is coming over and telling that these people are rioters, accusing them of illegal assembly, doing whatever the hell they want. This is not acceptable and I think the riot, the only rioters that we see are the police. Because if you see the definition of riot, since we're talking about it, the definition I got by Google, the first definition is a violent disturbance of the peace by a crowd, right? Violent, it's important to notice, violent. And the only ones I see being violent disruptions of the peace are the Hong Kong police. So maybe we, we got we got it wrong all the time. Riot police it didn't mean it, it didn't mean that they are police to control riots, but it meant all along that they are the the riot police, the police that do the riots.
Ken Chow, yes, the evil empire CCP are trying to kill all 7 million Hong Kongers one by one. I agree with you, and for that they're using tear gas, they're using batons, they're using all those dirty tactics, fake suicides and everything. Hello Black Hat Down, how are you? Uh, Black Hat Down said business owners now, thanks to the police fucking up Christmas sales targets, uh, probably there will be more um, shops closing down in 2020. So yeah, those who are destroying the economy are actually the police and the government. Harry Lamb and, and other stupid government figures always saying, oh, they're destroying the economy. The, the only shit they carry is the economy. And, uh, but in, the, in reality, they are the ones destroying it. By the way, it's good that you're here, black head down, because uh, I can give you a shout out now. Guys, please go to black head down's channel and subscribe to them so here's the channel and uh, please subscribe let's make this number larger so that means that more people are getting informed about what is happening in Hong Kong so for example here this is a clip of what happened yesterday this is a clip of what happened yesterday wait 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 they're shooting they're shooting they're shooting. They were running and shooting. And they are violently arresting someone that here. Just slam against the ground. Shit. And they were firing at people, at the crowd, just... Look how they're... You don't have to do all those... Get your stupid face out of the camera's way, stupid bitch. The, you can see on the ground they're just pressing his face against the ground. That's, he, that's the person's face. They're pushing the face against the ground. And here again you can see how that... That cop with the with the with the pepper ball gun so, so this girl this girl was being pushed and now she's being slammed against that that barrier there they slammed the girl against the ground they were pushing her face and other parts of her body against the ground and now they're taking her inside an alley and uh, the, the reporters are not allowed to get any anywhere close You can hear the people coughing from the pepper balls that were fired. You can hear all the people coughing and almost throwing up in the background.
hard. Fear some stuff out at the same time. <coughs> but here, you can see how they. Oh my god. Again, I, I don't know what these people were doing to to deserve that violence from the police. Those people who you saw crouching, you see next to the wall, are victims of police brutality and uh, police, basically the police state that currently Hong Kong is. If any of them suddenly decide to go away, although they have every right to go away, if they decide to go away, they will get caught and beaten up and arrested. They ask you to crouch, put your hands on the wall. If you fail to comply, you get beaten up. And again, these people were doing nothing. They were just standing on the street on Christmas.
。咁現場嘅警察係再次要求呢一個記者就退後，距離防暴警察最前線咧就起碼十米。The reporter is saying that the, they are being told to move backwards,、uh, it, so they just keep pushing them away more and more. 咁講翻今日多次嘅截查情況咧，都係咧係有類似嘅情況嘅，就係咧多次咧就要求在場記者退後，咁然後咧南影之南旗。The reporter is saying that this situation happened several times already today. The police suddenly charging, stopping and arresting people, and then they show the blue banner. And then they. The the blue banner is telling us the reporter saying the blue banner is being shown to us saying that we're、uh, in an illegal assembly or like an illegal protest, like illegal like you know rally or something like that. 但係暫時去到呢個位置咧，暫時都仲可以睇到。The reporter is saying that from here he can still look a bit at the at the people who are being stopped and searched. But they still keep telling us to move backwards more and more. We have no choice but to move backwards, and、uh, that is this this reporter this reporter here has a very good camera, if you can tell. But most of reporters who are recording on a phone, for example, they don't get to record how they those over there are being arrested. So now the the reporters are always accused at situations like this that they are interfering with police work. When they try to record from here. Can you see that the police are being arrested? Okay, the police are being arrested. 睇住啊！小心啊！小心啊！小心啊！睇唔到啊！小心，慢慢嚟，慢慢嚟。The reporter saying, "Hey, hey, calm down, calm down." 唔係啊！我想問下個作用係乜嘢？慢慢嚟，慢慢嚟。嗱，閃住燈嘅作用係乜嘢？等陣，大家都埋架。閃燈做咩啫 ？The reporter asks, "Why do you have to use your flashlight like that?" Why you have to use your flashlight like that to point at us? Okay, so the police officer took the reporter to the Alley Road Cafe. Now, now, it's difficult to see the situation there. The reporter is saying that now it's almost impossible to see the the situation there where where those people are being detained. Like from this distance and with all those、uh, terrorists in the middle, it's almost impossible to to see anything. I guess. And by the way, I just want to say something. That's what I mean when I say that、um, some people say that zero、uh, one news are like、um, pro government and that I should not watch it. And indeed, the 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 Corporation behind Zero One might be pro CCP, but the reporters who are actually there、uh, doing the live streams. I say this: most of the reporters who do live streams are are nice people, and they're actually doing a very good job. You see how this guy is trying his best to like show what the police is doing, and.、Um, These reporters who work at these companies, that some of them might be pro CCP, but I think their job is very important and maybe even more important because if these are the pro CCP companies, these reporters who are working at the front lines are the ones that actually can show the truth to the blue ribbons. 
The reporter is saying, is saying that the police continues to use the strong flashlights that are technically white lasers at the reporter cameras, uh, different reporters' cameras. Clement Zhao, thank you so much for your contribution. I will continue to support Hong Kong and um, against the keep supporting Hong Kong as the frontier against the biggest tyranny in the world. I will wait. Uh, sorry, I need to take a look at this. So they're just. Now on this and other side, they keep detaining people with force illegally and telling reporters to go the hell away. All right, so he, the reporter said, I have a name, you don't have, I have a name tag, you don't have, and he said, uh, this is my credential, and he showed a card on his uniform that means absolutely nothing, and then the reporter asked, what is, what is my name, I mean, uh, the reporter said, what is your name, officer, the, the police said, uh, this, this is my name, and he was pointing at his card on his chest, I don't know if you saw it, and uh, then he just, um, uh, telling the reporter, complain to the journalist association if you want. So again, the reporter was asked to provide a press credential. You, can you see that the police just like moving the flashlight from one side to the other to just irritate the reporters? It's not necessary. They just enjoy this shit. I need to calm down. Give me a second to calm down, please. All right. I had a deep breath. And, um, J.O. Young, thank you so much. I will try my best to be a bit merry this Christmas. I will try my best. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your support. Solo, you also explained, yes, the Popo said, I have this cat, this card, which is code. So, which is not true, it's not code, it's, it's not a unique identifier. We have seen several police with the same card, different police with the same card, so it is not a unique identifier. You can see the people are still crouching with their hands against the wall. Failing to do so will mean a beating by the police. Yes, Karis is, or Charis, Karis, I, I will go with Karis. Karis saying that the flashlight that the police use will actually hurt people's eyes because it is technically a laser. So Karis, thank you for pointing that out to everyone.
。呢、這個我咁多月嚟觀察得到嘅睇法啦。走咗啦，即係兩個走。有冇走曬？啱啱行走咗。我見到呢個背山行走咗啦，第一次喎。走曬。走曬。係我哋喎。走曬啊！走曬。咁啊，剛才被截柴嘅兩個年輕嘅男子咧，就放行咗啦。見到都有讀者睇到或者聽到發生緊咩事，有再多嘅旁述都街嗰邊咧就拎住啲食物啊！佢哋。You see his eyes, like we've seen these, we've seen pe like we have seen some police videos, like videos of the police Gong -gong with their pupil pupils, pupils, completely wide open. 嘅網吧咁，但係咧，在場服務警員咧就叫佢過去之後咧，瞭解完之後咧就冇俾佢上去嘅。All right, so basically, the those three young people who were Explaining to the police that they they just wanted to go there. They were buying food or something They explained but uh, the police didn't let them through and they had no choice but to go away or elsewhere Okay, so so the reporter is explaining that the police suddenly charged, uh, they were firing uh, pepper balls. I've already explained pepper balls. They imagine a paintball is stronger than a paintball uh, with pepper spray powder inside. They also use pepper spray. They also, they, they stop and search over 20 people and uh, several were arrested. We also saw how they slammed a girl against the ground and they pushed her face, like literally the police was kneeling down and pushing his her face against the ground with her with his hand there was three police riot police terrorists doing that to her in different parts of her body and then they took her inside an alley where the reporters were not allowed now black banner also being shown So they were showing the black banner and they were rushing forward with some weapons they were pointing at people but then they just retreated. 
，大家老街同埋。古蘭街交界嘅首層之後咧，依家嚟到咧第三個點咧，就係啊呢個波鞋街嘅位置咧，就係咧要冇揚威嘅。我見到咧，依家啲服務警員咧就準備上登上呢個警，幫個小巴就離開嘅。And now they're just getting back on the Vans and wait, they're no, 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 no. They're talking about a mini, and uh, this is a public mini bus. All right, I thought he was talking about that. I think I missed something. Now they're running on the bridge uh, near Mong Kok, East Mong Kok, I think. Near, I think this is near. Um, anyways, we just saw them running on the bridge as well. <coughs> telling them, go away immediately. They're telling those people who were actually walking on the bridge already when the police just rushed in. Wait, something's over there. They're taking a picture of something there. Oh dear. Oh, I think it's just a cockroach in there just falling up. But wait up. Yeah, they're still like on the move here. They're saying, go away immediately. We're going to use pepper spray bullets. This is an illegal assembly. And they're saying, run, 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 there, there. So from the bridge, they were pointing their guns at people and uh, accusing everyone down there of an illegal assembly. They're showing the blue banner from the bridge. They're telling the reporters to go. See, people just sitting on the ground. There is a, a guitar and some food. These people are celebrating Christmas. And at the same time, there is uh, the PLA. I mean, the, the, the police, which we know is infiltrated with PLA. But and then they're just disrupting the peace, violently disrupting the peace. Mm. 
愛國人士，咁就誒喺個天橋坐喺度嚟，咁畫面見到咧，其實警方應該係勸離緊佢哋，咁就冇話截柴或者拘捕咁樣。So now they're telling these people. It seemed that these people were foreigners. I think the reporter were talking was talking about. And they're telling them to go away. I don't know if they stopped and searched them, but they 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 told them to go. Those people who were like having a picnic there. And we see a stretcher being brought over. Shit! I hope no one is very is not injured. Then, actually, we just see now, the bridge above, the road is actually not much civilian there. But the police are also looking for the road above, so the police are asking for the civilians. The reporter is saying that they can see no people around, but the police keep telling, like, keep saying, uh, citizens, uh, stop, like, charging and things like that. Before I continue, I, I, I want to say thanks. Um, I forgot to say thanks earlier. I, I, I miss it. Uh, but I didn't say thanks to Raggy. Thank you so much, Raggy, for... Uh, for your contribution earlier, it really means a lot, and thank you so much for all the support you you you've shown and you've done. Thank you so much. Also, Billy E64, thank you so much. Please be safe, all right? Thank you so much, Billy. E. And guys, if you need anything, please let me know. I'll try my best to help you. Uh, Raggy, uh, I forgot to eat and drink. I, I had a I had a cup cup of water. I actually boiled water to to make coffee, but uh, I just boiled the water and then I forgot to make coffee. But yeah, as soon as uh, we see the police go away, I will eat something. By the way, the the cockroach that people were crying for. The, so there was a cockroach, a dead cockroach on the road, and people were were asking, "Why do you have to die? Why do you have to die?" And now they uh, they burned it. They burned the corpse of the cockroach. Cockroach. In case you were wondering what people were doing there.
I'll be right back, but you can see, please pay attention how these people are still being forced to keep their hands on the wall while crouching like that. It's been like an hour, not like an hour, it feels like an hour, but it's been a long time. How long? Uh, it's been 32 minutes, around 32 minutes that these people have been forced to keep that position. So you can see here, the police have is doing that to the people there in that in the middle of the street and they're blocking the street all the way up there and all the way up here so yeah people cannot access I probably they're blocking there so people cannot go over there they are not allowed to go there and uh, they cannot no one can see and here they're wait wait tear, tear smoke okay so now suddenly they're and they were firing, they also were firing, you saw on the bottom left. Shooting more pepper bullets. Okay. 
有鏡頭向住嗰邊，我隻眼已經望咗去第二邊。Please, everyone, go sign the petition. Uh, the link provided by Jupi Star. And also the petition that uh, Apfel submitted. And, and not only for Germans, but everyone, if you can please uh, sign that petition. So basically, if you, don't, if you can't read German, what you can do is simply go to the petition site. The link uh, is there in the live chat. Go there, uh, right click if you're using Google Google Chrome and translate to English and uh, it becomes it's very straightforward once you translate it uh, introduction of introduction of a law on the application of the global I'm not gonna read that act in Germany in response to brutal human rights violations in China on October 1st 2019 please sign this petition as well you have to register an account which is pretty quick just register an account, an email address, a password. You can add a, and a, you can use. I think you can use any address. It doesn't have to be an address from Germany. Just use your any address you want, and um, yeah, you have to press "I am new" here to create an account, and then you verify your email, and that's it. And you can sign the petition. Please do. Also, please sign this petition. This is in response of the police uh, see, uh, seizing the money of Spark Alliance Hong Kong by just by accusing them of money laundering. This is unacceptable, especially when them, them the very own police, is uh, receiving like dirty money. And like C. Y. Leung, who, who is a, a former chief executive in Hong Kong, and like. You know, the pro Beijing groups, they receive dirty money all the time and the police never accuses them of uh, money laundering or anything. But now, wow, the, the evil Spark Alliance Mafia is m doing money laundering, m money, ma oh God, I can't speak, money laundering and uh, they must be stopped. Baytown, thank you so much. And there is one more petition, if you guys wouldn't mind me asking. Uh, this one is very close to the goal of signatures. Ask the International Olympics Commission and corporate sponsors to relocate, relocate or cancel the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Please sign this so that we might have a chance of cancelling or moving the Olympics somewhere else. And of course the link is the one I'm giving you now on the live chat.
Hello, Bada Binge. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed, the police are the only ones who are rioting all the time, just occupying the streets, intimidating people, using violence to disturb the peace. That's what the riot police in Hong Kong are doing. That's why we call them terrorists, criminals, and they are actually infiltrated with PLA. All the evidence points to that. So I uh, quickly had a glance of them taking people away. So yeah, it seems they're taking people. I, I can't I can't do this actually. But shh, nobody will know. Yeah, all those people who were there, uh, bent at, like crouching against the, the wall with their hands on the wall, are now being taken into police vehicles. I just move it. keep watching that. Yeah, you can see the people, they all uh, already handcuffed with those plastic handcuffs, like zip ties. After being there for a long time, almost an hour, uh, with their hands crouching or kneeling with their hands on the wall for so long. And uh, now they're being arrested. This is illegal arrest, by the way. What we're hearing at the audio from here. He, that, at the end, the police said, I give you a warning already. Next time I will arrest you. They tell that man that was just standing there talking to the police. You saw him, he was not charging, he was not yelling, he was not throwing objects and doing nothing. He was just 
trying to talk to them. They say, I give you a warning. If you do whatever you're doing, keep doing whatever you're doing, I'm going to arrest you. Wait, are they loading them in a bus? Yes, they are loading them in the bus. And um this massive arrest of people who were committing no no crime. And again, what happens to the people who get arrested in Hong Kong? They are tortured. They beat you up, they bring you to a room where there is no clock. They give you dirty water. They keep beating you up. We know this by the, the hospital reports that have shown that people coming from detention centers had injuries and the hospital authorities said that these injuries were evidence of torture. For example, both limbs broken after being in detention uh, like uh, continuous um, trauma to different parts of the bodies and things like that uh, signs of being like tied up like you know those bruises you get when you get tied up to something you can't see your lawyer you can't see your family 
or is they make it almost impossible for it. There is this kid who the police forced a laser pointer on t inside his uh, like point a laser pointer to his eye for over 20 seconds saying oh you like this right you like pointing laser at police they forced them to sing a song called glory to the police otherwise they beat them up inside the police station sexual assault sexual abuse rape inside the detention centers and the police stations Ken Tao, yeah, they just took away a pretty young girl. And uh, I fear for that girl. Jovent Mo added something that, yeah, there. I remember at least one case where the bones of people's arms, where the, of someone's arm was crashed inside. Basically, the hand was just hanging from skin. The whole forearm was just like smashed. Now they're yelling at them, they're saying, we already gave you several warnings. Now they're advancing with their guns drawn. They're shooting, they're shooting again. Pepper balls. And other ammunitions as well. Alright, so for example, you see now they're firing projectiles, but they only show the black banner. So I told you, the banners are actually... They're telling, we give you warnings, we give you warnings. Go away, reporters, go away, reporters. They're just so casually moving forward and shooting at people. Now they're yelling at the reporters. Hey, go faster, go faster. Second warning, go faster. 
Wait, did he just shot? What did he do? What was that sound? Yeah, Noam Chinaski. And again, they shoot while the traffic is not diverted. Lots of bystanders got hit. We can still hear the pepper, the pepper balls being fired on the background. And all their ammunition. Just keep shooting at people. Wait, just give it a second. You can hear the, the police yelling, go away, go away, go away. He, the, this emergency responder is just standing there and uh, they're saying, Look. He's saying, you are interrupting my work. You're intervening with my work, reporters. You're interfering with police work. You're, inter you're, you're disrupting us. You're disrupting us. Now I give you a second warning, I give you a second warning. Walk, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Don't resist, don't resist. Go beyond the police line. You're, you're charging at the police cordon. I give you one more warning, I'm gonna pepper spray you. Faster, faster!
So, by the way, we need to write this down. Uh, it was around 122. Around 122, right? Oh, yes. We can update it. Now they're saying, again, this is a police warning, you guys are uh, in an illegal assembly, we're going to use force to make you disperse. Shit, now they're firing tear gas. More shots being fired. Wait, did they fire inside a shop? The police keeps yelling at the reporters. Pol uh, reporters, go, go, go away, go away. Yes, they fire inside this shop. Keep firing. They fired inside the shop, the reporter said. They're asking, if there, anyone has a mask? Anyone has a mask? They're going to help the, the, the person who was inside the shop. They said, the, the report said that they fired four rounds of tear gas and one of them fell inside the this um, clothing store. Oh, my God. 
而家見到咧，行路竟然咧退翻去咧，新人菜街嗰個街口嗰度啊！竟然繼續守住喺西洋菜南街呢個街口度啊！哇！佢哋對住通泰街發射咗四發四發嘅出嚟煙嘅，依家叫我係記者咧，係企後啲啊！呢邊嘅記者係對住嘅，依家停停咗個對住嘅面。咁啊，其實警員咧都準備離去啊，見到佢上曬車㗎啦。系剩翻一代警員係咧守住咧喺路口呢個位置。你見到警員咧陸續咧離去啊！亦都係剩翻兩隊警員咧，係守住咧喺新之城旺角中心附近嘅門口嗰度啊，上緊車嘅啦，亦都係見到剩低防暴警員。十字路口嘅房警已經完全撤去啦，巴阿阿街後街三個十字路嘅警員已經完全撤去啦，而剩低嘅警員咧，都係而家剩低嘅，係我中心嘅位置上緊車啊，上緊車。Dismissing， so they are going back to their vehicles and going away。講翻啱發生嘅事啊，啱咧就係防暴警員咧就，突然間咧鼻咧就打啲物品咧，有啲聲音喺地下爆開咁樣。Suddenly there was a sound。Like a bottle sound or something. And they fired a lot of pepper balls. And then they fired four tear gas rounds. And now they they are they are on the police vehicles, but they haven't. They, he's not sure if they're going to go away right now. 見到咧，警員都係，但係警員都上翻咧警車啊！我而家警方咧係響。So now they're wake, making sure to wake up every single person who was not woken up by the uh, tear gas explosions. That's the, uh, I'm not translating what the reporter said. Uh, Then, the police officer went to the hospital. 
七龍秀文街同埋通菜街附近呢，就發射咗呢、呃、四枚催淚彈，以作為今日嘅完結嘅。咁呢，蘋果鋪呢，喺旺角嘅 live 呢，就差唔多到呢度啦。咁呢，我哋會跟進旺角嘅最新嘅發展嘅。咁呢，請大家呢、呃，留意我哋嘅即時新聞啦。同埋呢，如果聽日呢，有呢，喺各區市嗰度呢，蘋果鋪都會進行直播嘅。咁請各位讀者呢，到時呢，係記住呢，留意呢，我哋嘅直播啦。So he's saying bye bye.、Uh, but anyways,、uh, he was telling us that there was he was describing the large group of people who were detained and stop and search and arrested. The police used a private bus, like a bus that was did not belong to the police department, or at least it didn't have any police marking. They put a lot of people. They filled the bus with people that they stopped and searched on the street illegally. They put them against their knees or crouching down. Uh, against the wall, they they demanded that they put their hands against the wall for a very long period of time. I think over over an hour, around an hour at least.、Um, and after that, they they handcuffed them and arrested them. That, 第二啲情況發生啦，因為依家咧係退曬嘅所有嘅警報人員，因為我嘅時間範圍，所以我就篤下，同阿 William 繼續睇下巡啊！依家一日向。The reporter is saying that、uh, the police apparently left, but they're going to see if there's going to be more police coming over. Actually, I see another angle with there's some still some police here. Not sure if it's delayed or or there's still some popo there. But、uh, yeah, there's see a lot of police terrorists just walking on the street. Another leaving. There's more police vehicles leaving. Um. Wait a second. All right. So, um, there's something I have to do. So I think if for like five minutes nothing happens,、uh, I'm gonna end the live stream. But of course, if if anything big happens, I will try to. To keep you guys updated. So before, yeah, before that, just thank you so much, everyone, for being here, for being with us in this tough Christmas. I really appreciate all of you for being here. Really, I really do. And、um, thank you to all the the contributors who are sponsoring my work. Thank you all so much for your generous contributions. You don't know how much. How much it means to me! Thank you so much, and、uh, thank you to everyone who participates in the live chat and、uh, moderators. Do a great job.、Uh, 
they're doing their best and uh, using their valuable time to keep the chat uh, free from the 50 cents. So uh, before I go, I just want to remind you a few things uh, quickly. Please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can uh, get daily updates up regarding the, the Hong Kong protests. Uh, you get videos with... Uh, subtitles and explanations so for example these videos are from yesterday we saw how they, they were tackling people beating people so with these videos you will see they have Chinese subtitles and English subtitles they have explanation and they are very very good summaries of things that happened the date 12 24 that's 24th of December uh, the date uh, so you can maybe uh, understand better what is going on in Hong Kong and understand the whole situation uh, so please go to their channel I, I, I would love that all of you could subscribe to this channel Hopefully, uh, they can have tens of thousands of subscribers. That would mean that a lot of people is actually uh, getting informed about the situation here. So I'm gonna paste the link on the live chat, and uh, hopefully you will uh, subscribe to that channel. And. Um, also, one more quick reminder, please uh, go to the, um, to sign the petitions. Give me a second. So one petition here, I'm going to paste it on the live chat. We want to cancel or relocate the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Also, there is this petition that if you could sign, that would mean a lot, is for the German government. So uh, I'll give you the link. But what you can do to easily fill it out is just right click and use uh, translate to English if you're using Google Chrome. And uh, it's really easy to follow after that. So. Wait. Uh, let me finish with this. And uh, thirdly, if you could please sign this petition as well. Um, here. Freeze assets of Chinese government backed entity in response to seizing humane support funds of Hong Kong protesters. So basically this is in response to the police freezing the money, 9 million US dollars uh, of the Spark Alliance, which provides legal, medical and living uh, support for the victims and the demonstrators in Hong Kong. So if you could sign this as well, of as, as previously with the other two, I'm going to leave the link on the live chat and on the description of this video as well. So if you could please help us uh, sign those petitions, we'll be very, very thankful.
度一有警車走過咧，咁啊誒市民有啦 ，keep 住鬧啦So yeah. By the way, Jeopardy Star 2022. I think you want to say. Um. Political things. Yes, we call China Nazi. Uh, China because they have concentration camps with millions of people in there, uh, which is uh, very similar to what the Nazi did uh, last century. So, yeah, uh, that's why we call them Chai Nazi, because otherwise people don't understand. When we don't compare them with things that people have already understand the severity of, of it, people understand the severity of the Nazis and how bad and what danger they meant for the world. That's why it's important that we compare them to it, to it. Um, because of the concentration camps, because of the or illegal organ harvesting, because of the torture, because of the uh, political and religious persecution, the killing and disappearance of political dissidents. Even the Nobel Peace Prize winner had to go to jail in China. Why? Because, of course, he talked against the government. He was in jail for, I think, 14 years until he died. So that's why we call, why we call them um, China Nazi. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not too informed about like U.S. politics, but yeah, here in China, uh, the, 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 the government actually wait. All right, so the right police is running one more time. It's on the move one more time. Uh, yeah, we refer to to the government in China as China Nazi. Uh, so that people can be aware of how horrible the Chinese government is. I'm not sure of other countries. Unfortunately, I can't speak about that. Uh, how often is the jail found to be source of illegally harvest organs? So I'm not sure how many comes from jail because they take everyone to jail. But I know that they that the Falun Gong practitioners basically Falun Gong is like a religion slash meditation technique so 
those people are very healthy and I know that they are uh, one of the main victims of illegal organ harvesting, the, the Falun Gong practitioners. And one of the theories is that because the government knows that they are these people are very healthy, the Falun Gong practitioners, they don't drink alcohol, they don't smoke, and they meditate and do a lot of exercise. So it's believed that that's why they are mainly targeted for their organs. Yeah, Jupiter, what, what Jupiter is saying, a young lady threw ink on Xi's poster, Xi Jinping, the dictator of China. And uh, then she went sent to a mental hospital and now disappear. We have no more news about her. She was a brave young lady. Yeah, and I want to add to that that not only the lady that threw the paint onto the poster, but also the, the person who recorded the video. I think it was a man. The, the man who recorded the video of her throwing the paint also was disappeared. And why I mean by was disappeared, I mean is they don't disappear by themselves, but they make them disappear. Yeah, yeah, I know the prisoners are also being targeted for their organs. Definitely. The, the, the prisoners, the... And, and that's what I mean, like... It's not like... I don't, I, what I mean is that people go to jail a lot. People go to jail for being Falun Gong practitioners, for example. And they become prisoners. Uh, sometimes... I'm, I'm trying to say this because in a lot of sites I've seen like... Oh, they are criminals, so it's okay for the government to take their organs. Because they say they, they may be murderers or they may be like terrorists or something like that. And uh... Wait. So, wait, they're beating someone up. Wait a second. It seems that they're beating someone up. But what I wanted to say, uh, sorry, I will go back to the. What I'm, uh, what I was trying to say is that, in China. Prisoners, uh, are not just criminals. In China, prisoners is anyone who disagrees with the government or just happens to be someone that the government doesn't like, like the Falun Gong practitioners. In China, prisoners can be everyone, even Nobel Peace prize winners Jupiter, I would buy that toilet paper so much. And uh, a toilet toilet cleaner with the CCP flag on it.
what is my opinion in the upcoming year in 2020? I think protests will be still going on. I think more countries will start to protest as well. We will see similar protests around the world. And uh, I think it might be a very important year in history. No, sorry, let me focus a bit on the stream. Now people are running away as the reporters are trying to find the source of the screams and that the police just running around. Give me a second. Shit. The emergency respondents are standing there, lifting their hands and asking, why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? As the police continues to show the blue banner telling this is just reporters and emergency respondents and they're telling them that they're doing an illegal assembly. The reporters are the reporters are arguing with the first aid volunteers. The first aid volunteer the, the reporters are telling the first aid volunteers, hey first aiders, if you if you can't get in, then just get out of the way. We're trying to record them. We're also doing our job.
The reporter is very angry. The, the reporter is telling the first aid, just pretending or what? You're standing there doing nothing. If they don't let you in, then let us record. You're just blocking our sight now. That reporter was very angry at the, at the first aide that was just standing in front there. And uh, someone is yelling, Kerry Lam is a, is a fucking asshole. Kerry Lam is a fucking asshole. F your mother. Kerry Lam is an asshole. Political things, yes, the police and the government always refer to the people as rioters. Someone keeps yelling, Carrie Lam is an asshole. I don't know if it's a reporter, a first aider, or some just bystander. The reporter is no so all right. It's an it's an uncle. We call them uncle. It's just a an old man, a middle-aged man or an old man yelling. And uh, the reporter, the reporter saying that old man is a, is great. That that old man is awesome. Oh, this was the guy who was yelling, Carrie Lam is an asshole. Carrie Lam is an asshole. Wait, they're fighting, they're fighting. Okay, okay, separate first. Alright, just dismiss. Nothing, nothing happened. Just dismiss. Be quiet. Shut up. They, no, no, shut up. You shut up. Alright, we know it, we know it, we know. Okay, stop, stop. It's enough, it's enough. Let's go, let's go. It's enough. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need to. The 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 reporter said. Okay, nothing happened here. Nothing happened. Uh, 
Ja, ja. Ja, so the, she's asking, why do you attack him? I will need Jupy Star and someone else to help me understand what's going on. Guys, I will explain you what is going on. If I start explaining now, I'm gonna miss what they're saying. No, no, Raggy, he was not abusing women. The woman was an asshole, apparently. But I'm not sure, I want you people to confirm, but yeah, they were not abusing a woman and uh, they were just arguing, they disagreed on something. Uh, the, the woman was saying that you should not live stream some shit and, uh, and, and other reporters were saying we should have a live stream. They wanted us to live stream. I think that's something that happened. So GP Sir is saying that I think the grey shirt man is trying to explain to the female reporter he was trying to block some ghosts. Sorry, uh. Some no, ghost man. ghosts are like uh, bad people trying to like uh, get people information or maybe uh, undercover police. That's what we call ghosts. Why Ri saying hello? They must be really tired and stressed venting the poor journalists. Yeah, that too. Like they have been going under so much pressure and stress and being oppressed like that by the police makes everything so tense, you know. And all right, so the female reporter did not understand the gray t-shirt man good intention and accused him. Yeah, I also got something like that, like, like I think there were maybe some misunderstanding or something like that. Yeah, 
，咁後屘佢哋而家後面有爭執，咁我就過去了解，點解嗰個我咬我識嘅，咁我諗住嘗試撳住佢，咁但係過程中有人以為我係過嚟亂入搞事咁，有幾句口角啦，咁跟住期間警員聽到爭執聲，以為就有。誒打鬥嘅事件，咁佢嚟到，誒、欸、知道係啲記者爭執，咁我嗰時同我哋講咗話，我同事嚟嘅，冇人打交，咁佢哋就離開啦。咁跟住就有一個紅衣男子突然之間就話我撞佢，唔知咩啦，咁就口角幾句，個過程就係咁樣樣，咁就啱先都好混亂下個過程。咁我休息幾分鐘啊，唔好意思啊。我跌咗嘢，我攞少少嘢先，係咪？我跌咗眼罩喎，要揾揾一啲副嘢嚟嘅嘢，貴嘢嚟。啊，混亂之間咁，我揾揾先。They're asking, are you a reporter? Are you a reporter? They're telling this reporter to remove his mask. They're asking, are you a reporter? They're saying, all right, you're not a reporter. You're not a reporter. Actually, you don't need to reply anything that they're telling you. You're a reporter. If you have a camera, then you're a reporter. That's it. Hello, 
，答案都改過好幾次嘅。咁但係總之，警察咧而家咧就係要啊，佢啊，即係守完袋之後，如果冇事咧就放行，咁同埋要去合作咁樣啦。So basically, they ask a report a, a person, a young person, if he was a reporter, and、uh, so they conclude he was not a reporter. Now they are.、Uh, Searching his bag, and if he has nothing on his bag, they're going to let him go. Now they're saying, "Go away, corrupt cops! Go away, corrupt cops!" People are saying, "Go away! You're pretending to work to get extra payment one more time." Yeah, judo. Don't let Popo get too many OT. Dismiss now. Yeah. Is. Although I think people have the right to be on the street, it should be the police who go away. But I understand what you mean. Maybe even if there is no people on the street, the police will just come out anyways. We've seen this. We've seen them firing tear gas at empty streets. Yeah, apple and political things, and it it always happened in Chile as well. They have found like protesters throwing rocks at police on peaceful demonstrations, and then they trap them, they grab them, and they realize that those throwing rocks were actually、uh, Chilean police. And this happened all the way when I was a kid, all the way until I grew up. Ah, this is a l Yeah, political things. I I agree with you. I think. I think. We one thing I've realized in Hong Kong is that I think they have the best independent reporters there is, because they are all the time there on the ground.、Uh, in the protest, you know, they actually go there. When I see the protest in Chile, for example, most of the cameras are just up. Way up in a building, you can't hear anything from it, and、uh, they they just go with some political agenda. Only the mainstream media goes with some political agenda,、um, and it's like it, it's very upsetting seeing the the media in Chile that cover the the、um, the protests, and、uh, that's why it's important to get also videos from the social media. I think people should learn how to like people to the protest. They should not just bring their phones, but they should have like monopoles so that they can take better videos of the of the protests, so that the whole world can see. If you just go, you you just become a number. But if you go with a camera and a, and a, like a monopole or something to make the video quality better, you also become evidence of you generate evidence of how what the police is doing. Uh, who the real victims are, and everything.
Oh yeah, why re? We didn't talk about that. The Chilean government, as Mu, Mu Damage said, the Chilean government said that the reason for the social uprise in Chile is K-pop. They really said that. They really like. They had to check it. They had to approve it, and someone had to say, "Okay, let's let's make this public." And the report said the K-pop is responsible for the social movement in Chile, which is of course bullshit. Here is a. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly talk about this. Chilean government claims that K pop has spurred protests in the country. So, yeah, no, it cannot be that people are upset that you take all the money and that 10% of the, the, of the country owns what like 80% of the, of the rest of the country does. No, so it has to be the K pop. So this Sunday, the Chilean Interior Ministry presented a report on the elements that encouraged the Chilean protest. The study considered the behavior of social networks and found that K-pop is among those accused of fomenting the protests. They're so stupid, they don't even know how to interpret data in a correct manner. So yeah, Chilean government is a complete joke. Piñera and the rest of the Chilean government, this message is from me to you. You are so stupid that you are an embarrassment to everyone who is a Chilean. Even when we, we don't like you, we're so embarrassed that you even speak our language. Please go to eat shit the rest of your lives. So the, the Chilean government had a list of blaming different things. Uh, they blamed Venezuela government. They blamed uh, so many governments. They blamed, uh, I think, few people, some singers, and now they blamed K-pop. Like, um, how cannot they understand that the 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 real reason why people are protesting is, is themselves, the government and the politicians in Chile. In Chile, you know, the, the, the president has stolen millions of dollars. He and other politicians in Chile stealing millions of dollars, companies colluding with each other, which is illegal. Basically taking millions of dollars. The ministry, the ministry of Health, he stole money from taxes, millions of dollars that were supposed to be to public education, uh, to public health, and he redirected those resources to private hospitals that he owned. And um, he's still the Ministry of Health. He's still acting Ministry of Health. He is not in jail. But a teacher, a teacher that kicked a turnstile in the train station, he went to jail preventive jail. He went to jail even before the trial. He was in jail for two months until the, 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 his lawyers managed to get him out of preventive prison. And now he's uh, under curfew. Uh, he has to go sign uh, every week. He has to sign uh, at the police stations just because, because he kicked a turnstile in the train stations. That's what happens in Chile. That's what happens in Hong Kong. And uh, I'm sure it happens in other places around the world. And that's why people are upset and not staying quiet anymore.
told me, yes, Chile has a lot of CCP infiltration, like in other countries, because of the, the politicians caring so much about their Chinese money. Um, the Chinese can do whatever they want, and um, most politicians won't care. I remember there was a good guy politician in Chile, um, because one of the politicians from Chile went to Hong Kong and talked about the Hong Kong protests. And uh, he met Joshua Wong and everything. And then when he went back to Chile, he got criticized by the, by the Chinese ambassador in Chile. And uh, this guy replied to the Chinese ambassador on an open letter telling him that, uh, sorry, but this is Chile and that's not how democracy works. If someone wants to meet with someone, they are allowed to do it and I don't have to listen to your stupid criticism, something like that. But in general, all the politicians in Chile and big companies will kowtow to China just like any other country. Let me tell you one thing that happened in Chile, by the way. There was a fire in a supermarket and uh, six people died. All right. And the government and the police accused, quote unquote, rioters of burning the supermarket and killing those people. What happened later? The medical authorities, hospital authorities found that those people that were burned had already died before the fire and they had bullet injuries. Surprise, surprise, who have the guns in Chile is the police. So the police in Chile also getting rid of the of the dead bodies, just like the police in, in Hong Kong is doing. The police in Hong Kong make it looks like suicides. In Chile, they burn them and uh, blame it on quote unquote rioters. Sneaker pie, that's actually a very good strategy, I think. Communicating through video game chats would be nice. It uh, would be harder to, to, to spy on, especially because you have uh, a lot of slang in video games that might be hard, might be hard to like, detect keywords if you spy on those networks. All right, um, unfortunately, I have to leave right now. Uh, but I want to say one more time, thank you so much, everyone. Please remember to sign the petitions. I put the links on the description of this live stream. Thank you so much. Uh, the mood damage. Yes, the thing about the fire and the people that were killed by the police. Yes, it happened like in October or at the beginning of November of this year. So... Yeah, as Shion Hoshino say, popos of a feather flock together. The Wait, something's going on. But yeah, we have... Guys, I want to say thanks to all of you because I think all of you here are against oppressive governments and evil police forces. And uh, that's why I love talking to you and reading your live chats. Even sometimes I would disagree with some of the comments, but I think we have uh, very meaningful discussions sometimes. And uh, that's how we grow, uh, by discussing and respecting each other. But with a common ground, which is not tolerating, not tolerating evil government. Right, so... Uh, by the way, you can keep watching this live stream. I'm gonna leave the link for you guys. Unfortunately, I have to leave right now. And... Um, Please keep what wait a second. Um here. I'm gonna give you the link. You can use that link to keep watching the live streams and you can keep chatting in our Discord server to like get an idea of what's going on if you don't understand. Um 
But please, guys, be safe. Be safe and be brave. Share uh, as much information as you can. Please help us boycott uh, those companies that kowtow to the CCP, and especially those CCP companies like Huawei. Thank you so much. Sneaker Pie, you too, thank you so much. Love you too, guys. And, um... Mu Damage, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you to the moderators as well. Thank you, Solo You. Thank you, Yri, Apfel, HK Kaluntong, Sneaker Pie, Political Things. Thank you so much. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and um, stay safe. Wait a second. All right, let me stay one more minute. Let's see what happens with the police. So the police are just coming here. They just said, uh, everyone is too late. It's very late. Go away. Just go back home. It's so late. Just go away. And they're showing the black banner. They just came out and show the black banner to people who were here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite late. Uh, to, to do what I have to do, but let's stay for like a couple more minutes. So blue banner meaning that this is an illegal assembly. The, 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 the lady is complaining to the police uh, and she was saying that her daughter is like six year old. The police is yelling, keep yelling, this is an illegal assembly, go away immediately, illegal assembly, illegal assembly. It's getting quite laggy right now. Wait, this is getting very laggy. The reporters are saying that they are so tired yesterday and it's so late and now until so late as well. The reporters, the police are yelling at the reporters. We're just caring about you. That's why we're telling you to go away. Look behind you. There is something there. It was so laggy. By the way, Lin says, thank you so much. Thank you for your generous contribution. 
you have your constant support really means so much for me really does thank you so much you have contributed a lot to this channel and my work and uh, I am so grateful to you thank you so much please let me know if there's anything I can do uh, to help you or if you need if you have any question or anything please let me know I sincerely appreciate it Oh, so the, the police said, yeah, cockroach behind the reporters. All right. Thank you, Solo You, for pointing that out. So now again, uh, probably another another batch of police, different batch this time. They come out for an hour so that they can claim OT as well. So they maximize so that every single member of the police terrorism organization can get extra payment. We call it OT. So GP Star and Dusty are saying that in the past six months, the police had already gotten around one billion Hong Kong dollars in extra time, like when they stay at, at night at, at the streets doing nothing and they get extra payment, that they have gotten in total over, uh, like around one billion Hong Kong dollars. So the reporter is going to head back because uh, he's doesn't he's not feeling well. Take a look here. This uh, stand news video and. Goodbye, Milo Murphy. All right. Unfortunately, uh, I really have to go right now. I am so sorry. I will make up for it uh, with the next live stream and the, the videos that I'm making, uh, like the previous video I made. I hope you guys were able to watch that video, by the way. Please watch it. More videos like this one explaining what is happening in Hong Kong are coming. Um, so if you go to my channel, uh, you can see it um, here. This one, the truth about Hong Kong, I called it. Uh, I also called it Understanding the Hong Kong Protest Against China's Dictatorship. Please watch it. I explained, basically I went through like the Hong Kong protests, talking about how zero police have been arrested after all the brutality. Um, and explaining what happens and like starting from the Sino-British Joint Declaration, the Hong Kong pro people have been actually protesting for a long time, but China is just not acknowledging the international treaty which is the Sino-British Joint Declaration and other countries are kowtowing to it. I explain it in more detail so please go watch it uh, if you have the time and if you could 
please share it on Instagram. I also upload it on my Instagram so you can share it from my account. The video is on Instagram, the video is on Facebook, the video is on Twitter. Please share it with more people. So it's just a 11 minute video that allows people to understand what is going on in Hong Kong, why the Chinese regime is a threat to the whole world and uh, basically just letting people see the reality of what's going on everywhere uh, here. So, yeah, the again, the link is in the live chat. All right, so thank you so much, guys. You're the best, really. I really appreciate all of you so much. Again, thank you, Linsas, for your generous contribution. It really means a lot. And thank you, all the other contributors. All your contributions really mean a lot. Sincerely, thank you so much. I'll keep doing my best. And uh, it's really thanks to all of you that I'm able to do this. Thank you so much. Have a good Christmas, if possible. And I really hope that all of your family and friends and dear people are safe. Um, take care and I will see you on the next live stream. Thank you so much. Adios. Bye bye guys. Take care.